Hey, what's your name? Luke. And how long have you been here, Luke? Have you been here since the 1st of October? I've been here since October 5th. That I'm a mediator for the GA. I'm kind of the unofficial hustler, the green hustle for the grounds. The I'm green kind of, hustler? Yeah. Everything north side is like media, important people who are really busy doing something. People have to kind of get more omnity, but don't want to necessarily leave south side. As you can probably guess, this is like major resident section. So you mean north side of City Hall on no, the other I side of the building just, or? Just this right here. North side of this area. North south siders. Okay. North side is the serious one. They're like the spit side. That's the spit sign soldier camp. We don't even allow smoking up there. Spit shine what? Soldier camp. That's what I call it. How many people are living here now? Um, I... Last census was like a week ago. It was 800. We have no idea. The last census. How often do you do a census? When we notice the like the population double. <laughs> this is music camp. Yeah, there's major drum circles that go on here. Everyone, smile for grassroots. I'm giving them a little tour. Hi, everybody. But uh, this is really something. You're you're sheltered for quite a distance here. Uh, this is at night. There's usually about 20 people in here. Some severe bang drumming, oming, and music going on. Lutes, drums, guitars, didgeridoos, sitars. Chinese I mean, no, we invent instruments here out of nothing, all the time. Seriously, some of the some of the most like forgotten, talented, prodigy people are here, as far as musicians are concerned. Do you guys have wireless? Right now. Uh, yeah, the generally, generally the concept. Media. Yeah, generally the concept of, of tribing up is everyone just pulls their resources together and something like this happens. This is the first no shoe zone we've ever had. It's a little bit. And this is because it's a sacred space. We have prayed for this place right here. I have invoked the spirit of my ancestors. That is why people stay around, ask them to take their shoes off in here. Yes, right. And we know you're just passing through. <laughs> so it's okay. Are there other communities like the musicians' community? I see there's an occupied theater company over here. Yeah, there's quite a few there. Um, yeah, this is probably the most interesting one. So, what do you want? Is this looking on my face? Can I have a Get away, hey, President. Put this in your mouth. It's delicious. Is that hot sauce? Yes. Ah, oh, good morning. Oh, man. Oh, my God. How y'all doing? Good. Ah. How are you? I'm good. How are these tamales? Ah. I think you seem to be enjoying that. Oh, my God. Thank you, sir. It's like a bike repair shop over here. Are you the Occupy LA bike repair man? No, I just took my bike here for free. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just dropped in because your bike was busted? Yeah, they you know offer free parts and tools and you know they've been helping me out a lot of uh, Wow. Yeah, that's up. How many times have you been out here? <laughs> Too many times. I don't deserve to have a bike. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing the job. Hi there. Okay. Over here, we have bike scum. Bike uh, scum. They started uh, Is that the name they chose for themselves? Yes. Yeah we do. And okay. Over there apparently it's called Ford Apathy. Well, okay, the Fort way. Apathy. Yeah. Camp Apathy. All right. Camp, yeah, we agree on Camp Apathy. It, sound, it sounded better. Um, Less militaristic. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> At first, we would have bikes to like loan out to people for various things. Obviously, the honor system did not work too far. So, it hasn't worked. No, nah, didn't work at first. So, now, what, now, what, now was, just, what was the honor system? Was bike parts or no? Like giving people bikes to we use. We had a loaner system. Around. We actually had four loaner bikes, and uh, those got stolen, so we had to shut down them. We still have a couple more loaners. Do people sign them out now, or what happens? We shut that down. Oh, I see. It's done. Unless we know you personally, there's no. These, these are everybody's personal bikes at this point. I see the sign says, uh, you know, if it's 3 a.m. So, is it 3 a.m. quiet hours? Is that the rule in the camp, more or less? Pretty, more or less. It's, yeah. not, no it's not even so much no that. Drugs, no drugs. It has become that. It originally it's, was uh, just a joke that we started from music mocking camp. one. Uh, it literally, and crazy. some of us at 3 a.m. in the morning, if there's a bunch of us awake, We'll start screaming it and make fun variations of it. Do like, people get at least a few hours of sleep a night? I mean, how do you uh, how do you do it? Every everybody sleeps in their own way. <laughs> yeah. And uh, some people sleep during the day. Some people sleep at night. Some people catch a nap. Some people never sleep like me because there's too much to do. Yeah. And it does. And not seem... enough drugs to get that done. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. That's why we're cat apathy. Kid Village. I saw. Uh, that started early. Both of these started. Uh, take a look at the sign behind you. 
chemtrails equal geoengineering equal crime against humanity. When we first got here, what do you think they first started doing? They started blanking us under like helicopters, jet streams, all sorts of things. That's how they drop stuff. I actually have a personal testimony of being attacked by a nanobot, but that's kind of a long story. <laughs> Okay, Drop perhaps after the tour. Viral psychotropics and a low-grade anthrax. It's actually pretty amazing that I'm alive, but only somebody like me would know. So. Sounds like a dramatic narrative. I just got out of the hospital yesterday at like 8 o'clock. Did they diagnose you with a nanobot infection? No, nobody's here right now. Uh, nobody's here right now, but this is Love Tribe. Love Tribe? I'm cleaning the pot right now. Was this an oatmeal pot yeah, for breakfast this morning? Yeah, we did oatmeal. Morning? We served a lot of people oatmeal today. Very nice. I want to go green. I want to go uh, take out the electoral college. I want the people to get their vote back. I want I want us to become a democratic society. I'm an anarchist disguised as a Republican. There you go. <laughs> well, your disguise uh, not all that convincing, my friend. No, not right now. No, no, no. no. This is this is different. This is this is the I am Hollywood. Let right people now. know that anarchy does not mean chaos. <laughs> it just means no government. Back to the tribal way of you know growing your own gardens. You know the anarchists that actually have the biggest garden on this whole property. I see a solar panel over here. I've seen solar panels elsewhere in the park. What do you guys use them for? What do you generate them? energy. We're eventually going to do it. Right. It's an ongoing project? I, I'm seeing some membership with the Love Tribe over here, I think. Uh, Hi there. Hi. Oh. oh you uh. did it yourself. I'm just holding oh, his cracking body his back. close to mine. That's what was going on. <laughs> we can do other things. It's okay. We're only on camera. <laughs> Awesome. Who are you? My name is Paul. I'm a graduate student in journalism. We brought some supplies and we're taking a tour. Hey. Supplies? What supplies? Uh, we brought food, we brought blankets, we brought jackets, we brought toiletries. Don't give them to me, don't give them security, don't give them the welcome deck, give them to the tribes. <laughs> we, put, we put them at the, at the table right at the front of the park. Okay. Everyone make a bad dash for that. We had a few carloads of stuff. Yeah, it's getting a little weird because uh, some of the people in charge was like, oh, I'll hold this tent for my buddy. You just need to bring a couple people and go up to one person, here's one tent. You know, be fair. Turn around, here's here's one tent. Don't say, oh, here's a whole bunch of stuff to one person because yeah, that person could be a little greedy. The quickest alternative that we've come up with is go to each tribe. Yeah. Tribes are all working hard just to keep their resources pulled together just to run a tribe in the first place. They will honestly... So, so Camp Apathy is a tribe. Bike Scum is a tribe. The Musician's Tent is a tribe. This Love Tribe, this is obviously a tribe. So then the park cuts itself into smaller sections. People right. form friendship groups. We just naturally gravitated out of common interest. And in reality, some of us are part of multiple tribes. How often do they have classes like these? We can. Every day there's something like this? We're trying to. It's hard to stay organized sometimes, but yeah, we're really doing our best. Food hour is always a good hour whenever somebody brings food. Yeah? It brings a lot more congregation, community, a lot of people. Do there tend to be regular meal times or just whenever somebody shows up with a box full of tamales? Whenever somebody shows up with whatever edible crack. Do you kind of need to keep your ears open for the arrival of food to know that it's happening? Otherwise people to, gobble it up? We used to have a messenger that would run around screaming to everybody. Now what we do is we just say it, tell your friend, tell your friend, tell your friend, tell your friend. And is that pretty effective? Do, yeah. Does everybody get fed that way? Everybody is hungry gets fed. Anybody who has like a dream or is trying to get something done is seeing, seeing things happen here. It's a very high manifestation ground. The, the energy here is extremely powerful. Sometimes it lends to chaos, but for the most part, it's like, I don't need anything. I'm, I'm beyond taking care of you.